Lieutenant Robert Rounds, R-O-U-N-D-S, National City Police Department. Thank you, sir. Can you tell us what happened this afternoon? So about 1 o'clock p.m., we got a radio call of a traffic collision here on Paradise Valley Road, uh, just east of Plaza Boulevard. Uh, officers responded and arrived on scene along with the help of San Diego, San Diego Police Department and National City Fire Department and San Diego Fire Department and found a three-vehicle traffic collision had occurred. Uh, it initially came out as possibly a hit-and-run. We have determined that it's not a hit-and-run collision. Uh, what we are getting preliminary, prelim, what we are getting initially is that the uh, white Scion that's in the middle of the road here was uh, traveling at a high rate of speed westbound on Plaza Boulevard and lost control. 
uh, veered into the oncoming lanes of traffic and collided with the dark colored Hyundai Sonata and then which collided with the dark colored Subaru. Uh, several people went to various hospitals here in San Diego. Um, four passengers from the white Scion who was speeding or going at high rate of speed westbound uh, went to local hospitals. One of those is possibly a juvenile. Um, four passengers, a driver and three passengers, I'm sorry, a driver and three passengers from Hyundai Sonata uh, went to local hospitals. And one female driver from the Subaru went to a local hospital. Right now, the, the uh, information I'm getting is there were six major injuries. Uh, none of them at this point appear life-threatening. Uh, don't know if that will change, but as of the right now, they did not appear life-threatening, but they were major injuries. Um, and that's all I really have at this point. Uh, actually, let me continue. It doesn't appear at this point that alcohol is, is uh, involved in this, although we're still in the very preliminary stage of this investigation. How long will Paradise Valley Road be closed? Uh, we're going to start getting tow trucks in here and hopefully get the road open within the next 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. What's the speed limit here? I don't have that off the top of my head. And uh, is there accidents like that at, at this corner or is this, is this a new thing? Uh, we don't get too many accidents out here. They, they've occurred over the years, of course, but we don't, it's not like we're getting accidents all the time during this, uh, through this area of the roadway. I mean, is it common for speeding to happen here? No more than any other roadway that's long without any type of controls, like a traffic signal or anything. Including both of the cars that are more, more damaged than the other one. Um, how many extractions were there? How many people were stuck inside? I believe there were two, two extractions. One from each car? Correct. So in total, how many people are we talking about? They went to hospitals? No, involved in this crash? Nine. Okay, so. Four, no. four in the white Scion, four in the dark colored Hyundai Sonata, and one in the Subaru. And then out of those, you're saying six were? Six were transported for what we consider major injuries. Uh, everyone, everyone was transported, right. six for major injuries. What kind of a uh, response did you all have? It looks like there was a lot of response. Uh, our entire uh, day shift patrol operations were out here, so we had uh, four, four officers, two sergeants, a lieutenant, a San Diego Police Department. Um, we have a great relationship with them, and they sent a lot of officers out here. I didn't get a count on how many San Diego police officers were out here. There are a couple of San Diego police officers that are remaining here to assist us with traffic control. And we also have our National City Police, uh, National City uh, Parking Enforcement officers out here helping with traffic control. What causes that big of a response? What? Just the sheer number of the, the size of the scene, uh, the number of uh, people that went to the hospital, uh, initially not knowing what type of injuries we had. And there's going to be, obviously, from, from your guys' uh, footage that you got, there's going to be quite a bit of cleanup before we can open up the road. And also, just so that you know, sir, there was more extraction, extrications. Uh, possibly four, at least. Okay, I wasn't here at that point. Yes, sir. Um, but I did know that two of the cars they had to they had to use the jaws of life to cut them open. How many people they extracted, I'm not quite sure on. But at least two people were extracted, possibly more. But they did have to cut into two of the vehicles. Are you surprised that there weren't fatals extracted by the looks of these cars? Head-on collision, probably. You said high rate. You no, know, the the injuries could have been definitely worse. I'm 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 hoping that the evidence will show that everyone was wearing their seatbelts because. You know, you never know when a car might veer on the wrong side of the road and come into you. So it's always important. We always want everyone to wear their seatbelt and be safe, um, especially during this holiday season when there's so much to lose. Thank you so much for your time, sir. All right. See you, Doug. Be safe.